Once, a prison guard accidentally overheard very disturbing rumors. Someone was planning a prison break. The guard watched all the footage from the surveillance cameras and discovered that two women had been behaving suspiciously. One of them was a former bodybuilder, muscular, with short hair, and covered in tattoos. The other was quiet and reserved. She preferred to spend time on her own and sometimes cried in her cell. After watching the video several times, the guard figured out which woman was planning to escape. Can you do the same? It's the second prisoner. There's a file in her bun. She can use it to get through the metal bars. Mark comes up to the table. There are three apples, but only one of them is safe to eat. The other two are poisonous. Unfortunately, Mark can't skip breakfast. So, which apple should he eat? Look, this apple has a caterpillar in it. It means there's no poison in the fruit, and it's safe to eat. These three women, Jessica, Mary, and Olivia, went shopping. Two of them are pregnant, and one is just trying to steal a watermelon. Can you tell which one is hiding a watermelon? It's Olivia. She's wearing heels. It's not the kind of shoes a pregnant woman would choose to wear. Nathan, a successful entrepreneur with a multi-million dollar business, and his friend Jackson, a famous private detective, returned from a long-term trip abroad. They decided to stop by at Nathan's villa on the way to the city. When the men entered the house, though, they saw that everything more or less valuable had been taken away. The entire villa was a mess. I've only been away for a month! What happened here? exclaimed Nathan. Jackson took an apple from the dining room table and started to munch on it thoroughly. The lock isn't broken. It means the person who took your stuff had the key. After a while, the detective asked Nathan to invite three people. Mia, Nathan's niece, told Jackson she hadn't visited her uncle's home. She had been having serious problems with her car for already two months. And the villa was too far away from the city to get there by public transport. Sarah, the maid, claimed that she had stopped by several weeks ago to bring some food and tidy up. But since then, she hadn't been to the villa. Adam, the gardener, told the detective he had been on vacation and had just returned. He even offered to show his plane tickets to Jackson. The detective figured out immediately who was behind the mess. You have 8 seconds to figure it out. It was the maid. She said she brought food several weeks ago. But the apple Jackson grabbed from the table was perfectly fresh. Once, Ms. White heard someone crying. It was her little student, Abigail. The girl told the teacher her cookies had been disappearing from her locker. Someone had been taking them for already several weeks. But Abigail didn't know who. Ms. White decided to help the girl. They equipped the locker with a simple alarm that had to go off if someone who wasn't Abigail opened the door. They hid behind the corner and began waiting. In 10 minutes, they heard the alarm. When they reached the locker, it was already empty and there was no one nearby. But Ms. White noticed somebody disappear behind the art room door. She rushed inside, but everything looked normal. And still, the teacher needed no more than a minute to understand who had been eating Abigail's cookies. Look at the picture of the art room carefully. Can you find out the answer within 8 seconds? It's the girl on the left. Her painting's black and white, but there are only various shades of blue on her palette. And maybe the cookie crumbs are a giveaway too. I don't know. One perfume company hires new staff. They must swear an oath of loyalty to the company if they want to get a job. Ten people are saying the words of the corporate oath simultaneously. But some of them are cheating. Help the directors figure out who these people are.
This guy keeps his fingers crossed. And the man on the left is standing with his legs crossed. They won't be loyal to the company, so the director doesn't hire them. Two influential media moguls are having lunch at an expensive restaurant. They're discussing the merger of their companies. The transaction amount is several billion dollars. They're whispering since the terms of this deal are top secret, and they suspect that someone can hear them. And they're right. Some curious people are eavesdropping on the conversation between the two businessmen. Try to find them. The girl at the next table is reading a newspaper that is turned upside down. She's obviously trying to overhear what the billionaires are talking about. This guy over there is listening to music, but the headphone wire is not connected to anything. Another girl is sitting at the table in the corner with a cocktail. But instead of an umbrella, there's an antenna in her glass. She's recording the conversation. Where are my employees? A boss shouts. He's furious because three people haven't come to the office. He calls each of them to find out the reason. All three tell him they got ill. The boss doesn't believe them, so they have to arrive at the office. Mary is wearing a warm jacket, hat, and scarf. She sneezes, coughs, and looks sick. Lori is walking on crutches. Her leg is in a cast. Sometime later, Michael appears. He's got a hand injury, and now he can't type. The boss is sure that one of them is faking. Who is it? Mike's left arm is broken, but his phone is in his left pocket. He must have used his broken arm to put it there, which means he's pretending. Apparently, he just didn't want to come to work. Ice will melt if you heat it. But if you heat me, I'll become solid. What am I? I'm an egg. You buy this thing to eat, but you never eat it. What is it? It's a plate. Mia was going back home one evening. It was 11 p.m., and she had to cross a small dark park in front of her house. Suddenly, she heard footsteps behind. Someone grabbed her bag and ran away. The girl called the police, and they questioned four suspects. Jack said, I was choosing an outfit for a party. Camilla was getting ready for her final exam at home. Andrew told the police he had been watching birds in the park. Nora was at her yoga class. After the interview, the police understood who was behind the robbery. Can you? It was Andrew. At 11 p.m., it's too dark to see birds. James left a folder with important documents on the table in his home office and went to a business meeting. When he returned, he found out that the documents had disappeared. James had three suspects. His brother said, I've been swimming in the pool since you left. I haven't seen or heard anything. The cook replied, Tomorrow we're having a party. I've been preparing the food. The security guard told James, I've been outside all this time, checking the garden for mice. Who knows where the documents are? It's the security guard. His job description doesn't include pest control. An accident happened at a busy crossroads in a small town. A driver who caused the crash left in a hurry. Luckily, several witnesses managed to describe the car. A police officer headed to the suspect's house. There, he saw a car that looked exactly like the one from the description. But its owner claimed that he had spent all day at home. The police officer knew the suspect was lying in no time. How? He touched the car hood. It was still hot from the engine that had worked not so long ago. 
You're walking along a railroad track. Suddenly, you see a speedy train approaching you. Instead of getting off the track immediately, you run toward the train. Why do you risk your life this way? When you notice the train, you're on a bridge. You can't leave the track right away and have to run to the closest place where you can do it. So, have you ever wanted to start a blog? Well, that's a sign. And this test will help you decide which type of blog will suit you best. Are you ready? Grab a piece of paper and a pen and record your answers. I'll let you know the results at the end of the video. Now let's start with your personality. Which three words would you say describe you best? A. Creative, resilient, perfectionist. B. Attractive, confident, creative. C. Active, adventurous, social. D. Kind, funny, sensitive. Or E. Smart, focused, determined. Do you have any hobbies? Pick it if it's on the list. If not, pick something that's closer to you and that you'd like to try. A. Cooking B. Music, photography C. Hiking D. Reading or E. Computer programming Now, choose a color that best reflects your personality. A. White the color of peace and cleanliness. B. Royal purple is my choice. It's the color of wealth and nobility. C. Green is the closest to me. It's the color of life and nature. D. My color is happy and joyful yellow. All the best things are yellow. Sunshine, autumn, dandelions, and bananas. Or is it E. Blue? This color symbolizes inspiration, freedom, and harmony. Maybe you can relate to that. What's your favorite way to spend a Friday night? A. I like to stay at home, cook dinner, and maybe bake something as a treat. B. I go out with my friends and we have fun. C. Go for a walk and wander around the city, preferably somewhere new. D. I like to stay in bed with a book or a movie and some snacks. E. I meditate, do some self-care, and think of my plans and goals. Now tell me, what's your favorite social media? A. Reddit B. Instagram C. YouTube D. TikTok Or E. Twitter Think of your budget and the way you spend money. Aside from food and bills, what do you spend the most money on? A. Kinship utensils B. Going out C. Traveling D. Books Or E. Online courses Now, pick your favorite food. Again, if it's not in the photos, just pick something that's more your style. A. Something fancy-looking like seafood B. Salads and healthy food C. Something creative from a different culture D. Pizza, yum or E. Coffee and croissant Now, just pick an outfit that represents your personality. Make your choice and don't forget to write it down. A. Something comfortable and homey B. Something fancy, expensive looking C. Outdoorsy D. Something neat and simple Or E. Office style Your birthday is approaching. There's a choice of five gifts you can receive. What will you pick? A. A set of new shiny pots. B. A gift certificate to a mall. C. A good and big backpack. D. A new set of books from your book list. Or E. Coffee machine. Out of these famous fictional characters, who do you think is more like you? A. 
Monica Geller from Friends, B. Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby, C. Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit, D. Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter franchise, or is it E. Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons? What's your favorite vacation destination? A. A city life. Staying in an Airbnb, going to local restaurants, and getting to know the city. B. A cruise, where I can fully relax and take good vacation photos. C. Remote places where tourists don't usually go. D. A beach. There's nothing better than spending time at the sea or by the pool and watching a movie in the hotel at night. Or E. The mountains, where I can be by myself with my thoughts and come up with new ideas. When you travel to a different city or country, what are you most excited about? A. Food. I love trying different cuisines. B. I love to dive into city life, visit restaurants and clubs, and of course, take many photos and post them. C. I enjoy the scenery and talking to the locals. I love to immerse myself in new environments. D. I love to wander around the city without maps and discover vintage stores and bookshops. Or E. I look forward to visiting museums and exhibitions. You're a traveler walking through the woods. You can go anywhere you want, and there are five roads waiting for you. Which one do you choose? A. I'll go towards the river. There's water and some fish I can catch. B. Towards the road. I don't want to get lost. The road means there's a city somewhere out there. C. I'll go towards the mountains. There must be beautiful scenery, and maybe there's a hiking trail. D. I'll go further into the woods and enjoy the experience. E. I'll just turn around and go back where I came from. I don't have time for this. You're on a vacation exploring old caves, and you find a magic lamp. You know what to do. Rub it! So you rub, and a genie appears. But what a bummer! The genie says that you only have one wish. Having three is a myth. What will you wish for? A unlimited supply of food, B, unlimited amount of money, C, a teleportation machine, D, the ability to travel in and out of fictional worlds, or E, the ability to freeze time. Now imagine you got access to a time machine. Where would you travel? A. I would stay in my time. I would rather travel across space, not time. B. To the Victorian times, with fancy balls and dinners. C. I would go to ancient Egypt or Greece. D. I would go a century into the future. E. I would sell it or start giving tours. Imagine that you already have a successful blog. What would you be most pleased to hear about it and you from other people? A. I love your aesthetic and everything you post is amazing. B. You live an amazingly interesting life. I wish I could be like you. C. You have amazing content and you inspire me to try new experiences. D. Your content is interesting and fresh. I rely on you for your recommendations. Or E. You inspire me to grow and be better every day. I hope to be successful like you one day. Now, count your answers. Do you have more of A's, B's, C's, or D's? Then it's time for the results. So what type of blog should you start? If you have more A's than anything else, then you should consider starting a cooking blog. You probably like cooking or baking, and it's a great way to share your knowledge with the world and try something new. The blog will motivate you to be better and learn more about your hobby. If you got more bees than anything else, then you should start a lifestyle blog. You're probably a very attractive and open person living a very interesting life. You're sure to find many friends, admirers, or just people who will love watching you and learning about your life. 
Did you get more C's? Fun fact, it resembles my report card. <laughs> well, I guess you live moving around, and traveling is your true passion. A travel blog is definitely a thing for you. You're a well-traveled person, and you can tell people about it, sharing your experiences and inspiring people to explore the world. Was D your most common answer? Then you could try starting a blog about books and movies. You could write reviews, post quotes, make recommendations, or just share interesting details about what you have noticed. It's up to your creativity, and you'll find a lot of like-minded people. Finally, if you pick most ease, then you should consider starting a professional blog on the topic you're qualified in or a productivity blog. You're a hardworking and successful person, so you could share your secrets and inspire people. It's always good to have someone to look up to, and you are a great role model. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.